In this video we're going to learn about the log power rule and as you can see it written here it tells us that if we have log of a to the n we can bring the n to the front to make it n log a. So let's see a simple proof of that. So if we have log of a plus log of a plus dot 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 log of a and we have that n times that that's equal to using the addition rule that we had in the previous video log of a times a times dot 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 times a n times well you know log of a plus log of a plus log of a plus log of a n times is going to be n lots of log a and log of the other side, or a times a times a times a n times, is a to the n. So you can see that's quite a simple proof. Let's see how we can put that into action. Okay, here are two examples. And um, the first one, we've got to simplify this. Well, we can see we've got a case of using the power rule here. And the power rule tells us that we can bring the power to the front. So this becomes 2 log x plus, bring the 3 to the front, 3 log x. And that's going to be 5 log x. Quite simple. OK, well, how do we use the power rule here? Well, the first thing to realise is that we want to use the power rule here because we've got an equation where the power contains the variable. So what we do is we take logs of both sides. So this is going to become log of 3 to the 2x plus 1 equals log of 45. So with the power rule, it means I can bring the power to the front. So that's going to be 2x plus 1 times log of 3 equals log of 45. I can divide both sides by log of 3. So that's going to give us 2x plus 1 equals log of 45 over log of 3. We can take away 1 from both sides, and then finally we can divide by 2. So that's x equals log of 45 over log of 3 minus 1 all over 2. And we can put that into a calculator to find out the answer. So here are three practice questions that you can try. You might want to pause the video, try and do them on your own, and then start the video again and see the solutions. OK, this one here. So if we have a power, we can bring it to the front, and then um, we have something simpler. So we're going to bring the 2 to the front of our first one. So instead of 4 log x squared, we're going to get 8 log x going to bring the half to the front and the other one instead of 2 log x to the half that's just going to give us a log x a half times 2 being 1 take away a log x these cancel so there's our answer 8 log x okay so on this next one here we've got the unknown as a variable so we take logs of both sides so we've got log of 4 to the x equals log of 35 we can bring the power to the front so it's x log 4 equals log of 35 now divide both sides by log 4 and we get x equals log of 35 divided by log of 4 so this next question we have the um, unknown in the power so we take logs of both sides so we've got log of 5 to the power of x plus 1 equals log of 7. Bring the power to the front, so that's x plus 1 times log of 5 equals log of 7. Divide by log 5, so we're going to get x plus 1 
equals log of 7 over log of 5. Take away 1 from both sides and there's our answer.